Welcome back to Batman the Enemy Within. So, uh... Hopefully we don't have any, uh... Any glitches like at the end of the last episode where I couldn't see out of the car. At least I wasn't driving. <laughs> I mean, even if Bruce was driving, it would have done it for me. You're not going to be driving in a Telltale game. Um... <laughs> so, we're... Uh, I went back and I watched the scene on YouTube. There wasn't anything interesting. There's a guy who runs after you in the car for a couple seconds. Um, that was really it. So, uh, we're going to go into Wayne Tower and we're going to grab this device for Harley. Twelve p.m. It was like the. <laughs> it's like l late at night. Uh, Mr. Wayne. In that last uh, uh, yeah, if you could please sign in, scene, well, it even like attack. feels like it's late. Uh, thumb scanning. So, um, what brings you in? If you don't mind me asking, is everything okay? I believe that's my name on the building, which means I don't have to explain myself to you. Oh, well, of course not, Mr. Wayne. I, I didn't. You're checked in, sir. All right, up to the lab. Is it Joker and Harley coming in? You really ought to rethink your hiring practices, Bruce. Your man's lying down on the job. What'd you do to him? Is he still alive? Don't worry. A little bop on the head never killed anyone. Oh, I thought it was a wooden melt. That's just a straight up sledgehammer. Going up, Brucey. Uh, help! Do I don't think there's any helping him. Danger. She bashed his head in with a sledgehammer. You know, I thought it was just a like wooden mallet, not a sledgehammer. As long as you keep up this good behavior, give me a hard time. Oh, I might have to go back and finish the job. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't a very good guard anyway. I mean, you know, he's supposed to keep people out. Maybe getting knocked down will teach him a lesson. Don't do that again. How cute. He thinks he's the one giving the orders. Listen, sugar. Don't ever tell me what I can and can't do. Bruce is a real man of substance, Harley. It's in his blood. Thought you were gonna wait in the car. Now, Harley figured you'd want some company. Didn't want you to have to do this all by your lonesome. You don't have a problem with that, do you, Mr. Moneybags? <sighs> Fine. But no one else gets hurt. You got a strange set of priorities for someone who wants on the good side. I get it, Bruce. You're the he boss. just didn't want his people hurt. Don't turn your back on your people. Even when they're useless. I have to say, Bruce, it's exhilarating to walk these hallowed halls with you. This is where the wheeling and dealing happens. The power plays, the boardroom scuffles. I can feel all that toxic energy in the walls. You think I could run a place like this one day? Like you, Bruce? No. I think I'd get quite a kick out of being CEO. If you keep your head down, work really hard yeah why not oh yeah you worked real hard <laughs> you had a rich i don't like this harley and not nailed down oh come on harley bruce's father worked really hard at taking other people's money you gotta give him credit for that Together, puts all that slushy you drink has got you. Uh. Oh, Bruce, well, I'm surprised to see you. And these are <clears throat> uh. to whom do I owe the pleasure? 
These are They're fashion consultants. Fashion consultants. I figured it's time I try out a new look. Not just Bruce. We are gonna revamp this whole place. Dress everyone in snazzy uniforms. Oh. <laughs> well, no one ran this by me. Just think, you could come into work on Monday dressed just like me. <laughs> I wouldn't want that. Is this some kind of joke? Do I look funny to you? Like I'm some kind of punchline or something? Excuse me? <laughs> hey, why don't you leave her alone? You're gonna let your employees sass me like that? Is this the kind of operation you run here? Leave her alone. I ain't even gotten started. I said that. <laughs> Your friends don't suit you, Bruce. Mm -hmm. You got a firm grip, Mr. Corporation. The kind that makes a girl go weak at the knees. Want to show me what else you can do with those hands? We could carve out some alone time. Uh, I am okay. Let's just stay focused on the task at hand, shall we? This is right. We are people with purpose. We're here to get the phalanx. Shut your pie hole, will you, John? You gotta learn to live in the moment. Uh. What did she hit? Wait here, I'll be right back with Forget you. Forget it, Brucey boy. Your secret lab ain't really a secret. Cobblepot's got quite a mouth on him. I don't think he ever shut it the whole time I was working at Blackgate Prison. He told me all sorts of interesting stuff. Say, do you like chess? Work your magic. Tick tock. What's the hold up? <laughs> Give me a second. Hold on. Tight squeeze. You know, I think you two are the closest friends I've ever had. I present to you our secret lab. Lucius, you have seriously outdone yourself this time. <laughs> Glad you like it. Like it? Oh, no, this... This changes everything. It was getting a bit dodgy hiding all those batarangs in the Wayne Enterprise R&D way. Thank you, Lucius. Come on. Now the real work starts. More. Where's the giant crater? I thought this was where your friend went out with a bang. That was his office upstairs. Better question. Where's the phalanx key? It should be in the vault. Well, what you waiting for, sweetie? Go get it. Alright, I want to look around if we can. I know Harley's mad at us. We should hope that there's no Batman tech around. Mm, lock protocol vault thumbprint required Lucius Fox. That's not right. Why the lockout? 
Someone's been in here. What's taking so long, Bruce? It's saying it won't open without Lucius's thumbprint. And that got blown up with the rest of him, didn't it? Oh, all the dumb luck. You're saying we can't get it open, then? Harley's not going to like that at all. Or you. Let, let me try to find latent prints around here with my scanner. Always thinking, this guy. All right. Dinner to celebrate Tiffany's first aid win in her prizes. Sorry you didn't make it there, Lucius. I remember when Tiffany brought that back from our class. What is that? Is it like a cat cupcake? Alright, that's a start. Tiffany built that rocket herself. Lucius was so proud. Getting there. Anything else on his desk? No, I think that's it. Got a box of files. Just a bunch of old reports. You need to remember to clean out some of this junk. Not a single usable print. Well, good walking, Bruce. I just pressed triangle and he did that. Okay, still unconscious. Hope he's not hurt too badly. Hmm. <laughs> one more partial print should do it. I think we need a lot more than one. sure if it works. It's an EMP generator pudding. <laughs> tell him what it does. If you it know what it does, why don't you tell him? Out other nearby electronic devices. <laughs> Who wouldn't want to try that? They're gonna want that too now. I touch what I want when I want Brucey boy. I like how her gloves are so short it too. It looks so weird. Find me that key. Looking for this. Tiffany. I told you I'd find out what you got my dad mixed up in. This this is much worse than I thought. You're not safe here. You have to hide. I want to tell her the what truth, the but she said she'd tell everybody. Full of weapons. What's going on here, Bruce? What's all this for? Your father worked with Batman. That's who all this stuff is for. Batman. 
I know it. His tech. Dad's fingerprints are all over it. I came looking for answers, but... I didn't expect this. Bruce. These people you're with. I saw on the cameras what they did to that guard. To Regina. They'll do the same to you, or worse. Get out of sight. Bruce! What's taking so long in here, huh? Hey, I know you. We met at your father's funeral. John. Okay, Bruce, you need to get physical. I get it. We'll be as quiet as lab rats. But, but what about Harley? I mean, she's gonna want to know about your, uh, friend here. What am I supposed to tell her? You don't have to say anything to her, John. Okay? It can be our secret. In Arkham, I was well known for my discretion. All the guards confided in me. I don't like lying to Harley, but I'll do it for you, Bruce. Not really lying, you just don't have to say that anybody was in here. Key. You give me that, I can go out there and, you know, make Harley happy. You can have the key. Just leave Tiffany out of it, okay? You mean this thing? That's it? <laughs> You've got to be kidding, Bruce. You can't give these psychos anything from this lab. Hey, now. No need to get personal. We're all on the same side, remember? Come on, Bruce. You know how dangerous this tech could be in the wrong hand. Please, Tiffany. I've been honest with you every step of the way. Now I need you to trust me. Please. I better not see this on the evening news. Thank you. This, this makes things so much better for everyone. Thank you, Tiffany. You made the right call. Harley will be over the moon when I show her this. Stay out of sight until we are long gone. Whatever. Bruce. You better know what you're doing. Took you long enough? I was starting to think you got sucked into a portal to another dimension or something. Your boys did good, you know? Made Mama proud. Hmm. It don't look like nothing special. You've got what you wanted. Now let's just get out of here. <laughs> Load that thing up too, John. I need it. Hurry it up. I was keeping an eye on you over the security feed. Well, breaking into my own company was... You didn't really expected. break in, though, did you? Things could have gone he broke into the so vault. Much worse. But, but you, you should have had access to that John in the first place. Tiffany quiet was a masterstroke, Bruce. Still... That young woman is smarter than both of us, Bruce. It's only a matter of time before she puts the rest of the pieces together. I heard you reveal that Lucius worked with Batman. But will that satisfy her? You know what she's like. She won't stop digging until she gets to the truth. Maybe we should just... tell her. I've always regretted not being more honest with you about her father's life. Don't make the same mistake. I don't know if I want to trust her. You said she was going to tell everybody. I'll be as honest with Tiffany Whatever she found out. Very good. Uh, with regards to tonight's other catastrophes, your night watchman got a nasty lump on the head, but don't worry, he'll be fine. I've already arranged for him to get a generous payout and an extended vacation. Good. And replaced tonight's offending security camera feed with dummy footage. I yeah, thank you. As for Regina, I'm afraid your fashion consultant's cover story is going to cause more problems. Your encounter there was too bizarre to be ignored. Well, oh, 
after what went on. It'll be a challenge to smooth things over with her. It's all coming so fast. One thing after another. You need to take it easy, Al. Get some rest. It's only a momentary bit of exhaustion. I, I'm sure it will pass. Bruce. I know we agreed there was no better way to get to Bane. But this whole adventure with John and Harley, well, frankly, it's exhausting. Well, be careful and good luck. A family affair. Been a busy night. Good to see you on your feet again. Here. You're welcome. It's information on Harleen Quinzel from sealed records we dug up at the coroner's office. Harleen Quinzel's father committed suicide after decades of struggling with mental illness. A uh, tough story. Quinzel was a devoted, successful doctor. But she couldn't save him. Must have been hard on her. The trauma of her father's death caused her breakdown turned her into the monster she is today. Now, I know what she's done, but I can't help but feel a little sorry for her. It's gotta be rough on a person, going through all that. People are traumatized every day, Jim. Most find a way of dealing with it without having to bash people with a hammer. <laughs> I guess you're right. Gordon, you're dismissed. This is still my goddamn station. He's forgetting I'm the one who can make or break his career. <sighs> Waller, why do you have to be so annoying? You only remind me every other minute. Clearly, I need a better method of getting the message across. That's enough, Waller. This is Jim's precinct. He's free to do as he pleases. Maybe you weren't paying attention, but this is my turf now. You're gonna push me too far, you hear me? Is that a threat? No. Just God's honest truth. Something you wouldn't know a damn thing about. These two hate each other. She's got some kind of leverage on you, doesn't she? If she's jammed you up somehow, just say the word. I'll appeal to the mayor, the governor, whatever it takes to get her off your back. I'll do whatever I can to help you. I don't know what to say. Uh, this isn't right. None of it. I don't want to hear it. Just supposed to come to Gotham, put the chains on Riddler and his gang, and get the hell out. I'm just saying, this city gets under your skin. Fast. Know what I mean? This laid plans and all that. I suppose not. You've committed your life to cleaning up these streets. That job will never be done. And I guess you locals see it differently. Agent of Esther. She fought to get on this assignment, you know. Wanted to see her old neighborhood. Wanted to see you. Her hometown. I forgot she was from here. She wanted to impress you. She admires what you do for the people of this city. Your respect is important to her. Does she know who I really am? Who do you think she told me who kind of... you are? Oh, <laughs> so she told him. For the world's or she greatest told detective, you sure can be slow. So, Wayne Enterprises. Heard you made some new friends. You're having me followed. Thanks to you, these very bad people have an EMP and a key that'll open every lock I would want to keep bolted shut. They're clearly planning something. The stakes are too high to leave anything to chance. You know, I actually considered asking you to infiltrate Riddler's gang. Before everything blew up. 
I knew I could count on you to get me close to them. Close to Bane. You're good at this. Seems like mm -hmm. you've already won Harley Quinn's trust. A vote of confidence. I'm touched, Waller. Credit where credit's due. Get them away from their base of operations. Somewhere they'll be exposed. When they're all together, out in the open, contact me. I'll be standing by, ready to ambush. We'll take them down when they're at their most vulnerable. Sound good? They'll mm -hmm. never know what hit them. You need tell to Gordon. Gordon. Don't tell me how to run my operation. Shut These up. These people know this city better than anyone. And they have their hands filled with other priorities right now. He deserves to be involved Batman. with this too. If it gets bad for you, just remember. We're out here. When if you don't like tell this, Gordon what's going on, I'll tell Gordon what's going on. Let's say everything goes pear-shaped, and you get stuck in there longer than you'd like. Then what's right, what's wrong, it all gets blurry. And guess what? That's okay. Because you're going to have to do some blurry things that you are not proud of before this is done. You hear me? That's just how these kinds of operations go down. I created Batman to strike fear into criminals, not become one. Batman's not the one rubbing shoulders with them. You should think about which one Gotham really needs right now. I'm in. Just don't stay embedded any longer than necessary. I'll be in and out, Alfred. Just long enough to figure out their plans. Good luck, Bruce. Stay safe. All right. I feel that that is a pretty good place to end. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Batman the Enemy Within, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.